great Wednesday morning, April 22nd, 2020. To God be the glory for yet another brand new morning. New mercies and his loving kindness we are able to experience. Isaiah 46. You know, this has been on my mind recently. You know, on the news how we hear of nursing homes um, just being besieged and so many of the residents transitioning without loved ones and we're praying for those families and we're praying for all those who are the workers in there and the Lord's promise is this in Isaiah 46 verse 4 it says even to your old age hmm some of us don't want to talk about that as far as advancing and our years increasing and it seems like these days just go away so quickly well he said I am he even to your whore hairs that means your gray your white hairs hey will I carry you so even though people might not have loved ones surrounding them they might not be compassed around them they know that God is there and he is carrying them he has them in his bosom of love his heart and it says I have made and I will bear hmm? he's the one who created each one of us in our mother's wombs and he will carry and he will deliver us amen and that's right in line with Psalms 48 14 even unto death the Lord will be with us. So there's nothing to have trepidation about when you know the Lord. But we understand naturally we want to be with our loved ones. But God was with them when he brought them into the world. Amen. And he's going to be with them when they exit their sunrise and their sunset. So let's thank the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord for whichever we are experiencing Psalms 22 because today is the 22nd we know sometimes it feels like we're suffering and we're alone David felt this Jesus felt this verse 1 my God why hast thou forsaken me why art thou so far from helping me and then they're talking about David's talking about how he created he's craving for the Lord he cries in the daytime but like we said, he trusted on the Lord and he was right there with him. His strength, verse 19, will not be far from any of us because he helps us in the time of trouble. And because we are planted like these trees, like I said, I started my garden yesterday by faith. I said, Lord, I believe that you will show me how to cultivate and to maintain this garden well the Lord most of all wants us planted in the house of the Lord and to be like the olive tree green fresh thriving Psalms 52 8 and we trust in the mercy of God forever and ever and because of that we trust that he is with us and he will be with us until the end of time so we can enjoy the presence of the Lord, no matter what happens, comes our way. Let's enjoy his blessings in Psalms 112. Our heart is fixed on the Lord, trusting in him. It's established and he will show his light in darkness throughout the day. Even though it's getting gray, his light is within us. All right. Enjoy the blessings of the Lord and know that he is with you throughout the days of your life. Enjoy.